Okay. I'm just about a minute early, so we'll kind of hang for just a little bit and see who pops on. I hope that we have comments today. I've checked everything on my phone. I'll give it a minute for people to hop on because like I said, I'm just a minute early. Good morning, Glenda. Yay, yay, I can see comments, yay. I don't know what happened yesterday. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Kelly. Hi, Janie, Susan, Cheryl. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hi, Susan. Oh, it's so nice to see all the comments. Hi, Pat. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know what happened. Good morning, Linda, on um, YouTube yesterday. Who knows? Um, you know, sometimes it's just a something, something. Hi, Donna. Hi, Diana. Hi, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Oh, so nice. You guys are popping on fast. Good morning. Cheryl, Diana, Susan, thank you for sharing. Today, hi Donna, we are, hi Sue, nice to see you. Um, today we're going to work with this um, Love of Leaves set again. I absolutely love it. I'm well, Pat, thank you for asking. It's cold here now. Yeah, so it's definitely fall. Leaves are changing and this is what inspired this card. But I also wanted to show you guys that you don't have to use the part that fits inside that does all the stitching. I used a very busy DSP back here. So I didn't want, um, hi Laura, I didn't want a lot of busyness going on here. Um, and so that's why I didn't use the stitches. I just did the stamping and cut it out. So that's what we're going to do. Now, <clears throat> I today's the last day. Today is the last day. If you'd like to join my team, I would love to have you. If you do, you receive from Stampin' Up! two stamp sets, full-size stamp sets, rhinestones and card bases here. And um, so that is a wonderful, wonderful offer. It's $99 and you get to pick $125 worth of products. So that is wonderful. Cheryl says it's cold in Illinois. Yes. Yes, I think today, you know, like yesterday was rainy and cold. And um, so today it's supposed to be just sunny and cool in the 60s. So um, I'm a definite warm weather person, guys. Definite warm weather. So um, before we start, because normally when I go live, something happens. Um, I'll just say, <laughs> I'll just say um, I'm having some work done on the outside of the house. They are not here yet today, so um, if the ring chime goes off or something like that, uh, it's probably them just getting their tools out and this and that. Um, so yeah, it might be something like that. So we're good to go though. Um, hi, Donna. 61 in Texas. Okay, yes. Yes, yeah, see, to me, I like 80. 75, 80, if it could just stay around there for my the rest of my life, I would be happy. So we're gonna use some very vanilla. And I used a thick very vanilla at 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half, so it opens like this. Then I used a um, uh, old olive, five by three and three quarter, and then this is regular very vanilla at four and three quarter by three and a half. I happen to absolutely, good morning, Judith. I happen to absolutely love this font in this set. The font in the, um, on all of the sayings here, it's a very kind of, um, very thin, but a little whimsical at the same time, especially that little thank you there. That's cute. Um, and I just love it. And I love all of the sayings on this set. This is a set that I will use every single thing from it. And you know, if you follow me, that when I use everything on it, I really feel like I get enough bang for my buck, right? So on the outside, we have Old Olive at five and a quarter by four. This DSP, um, I just love it. I love this DSP. Um, the Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper, as you can see, I have been using a lot of it. But this is where this comes from, and it's um, a very busy background. Now, this right here we will do with our um, dies in just a moment. I'll show you. I want. I had to use this one. I just had to. Oh, where did I put it? Let's not lose things. Oh, here. 
yesterday I dropped um just put this bundle on my next door <laughs> I love this I, I I hesitated to buy this from the pictures in the catalog and I got a little bored and wanted to shop and I don't really go out and shop and um so I bought this set the other week and I'm very happy for it this actually does all this stitching right here right in there and it, I've seen cards all over YouTube and Pinterest of using this um, kind of different embossing die. Uh, but I just cut a piece of old olive at three and three quarter by three fourths of an inch just to give me a little background right there. And I ran it through the big shot. And so that's what we got there. So um, that we'll do that in a minute because I'm going to stamp and I'm going to cut stuff out and yeah. Just kind of spend the little bit of the morning with you guys. Start my day off right. I like to start my day off with stamping. Did you find the stamp? Oh, yes, yesterday, yes. It had fallen on the floor on the block. It was right, honest to goodness, guys, if I would have just stepped two inches to the right, I would have stepped on it. And I just, I seriously, I didn't look down. I was just kept looking on my desk. <laughs> so I didn't even hear it fall. So I was like, oh. Oh, no, wait, uh, Lynn, that DSP is on back order. Oh, Lynn says um, the Gilded Autumn is on back order. So you could order it and, um, you know, just click yes that you want to wait for it to come in. And then they'll send it to you if you want to do that. So that's wonderful. Okay, so our colors today are Early Espresso, Crushed Curry, and Cajun Craze. I'm wearing them out. It's fall. These are great fall colors. So, um, let's go ahead and open these. Crush curry and Cajun craze. Wonderful. Now, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm so glad you're in my life. Isn't that pretty? And we're going to do that in um, early espresso. Here in the center. Nice. My little cockeyed. Does it look crooked? Let's do round two, just in case. Okay. I want them to make one of these pads with that have grid on it. Instead of laying paper over top of top of it. Good morning, Lisa. Um, or something like that. I just want them to make it, make the pad with a grid thing on it. I don't know. <laughs> That's just my idea. Okay, let's use some um, beautiful Cajun craze here with this leaf. And I'm just going to stamp it here and then stamp one here. And now I'm going to clean this. I have my um, little scrubber to the side there. Now we're going to go into crushed curry. Yes, Linda, I did. I was, um, I said, it's so funny. If I would have just like stepped two inches to the right, instead of looking all over my desk here, just with my foot, it was on the floor. Good morning, Janet. I am so happy to see, um, comments. That is wonderful. I don't know what went on yesterday, but I don't question anything anymore because it just happened. Now we're going to mount this onto here, and that's why I didn't use any green leaves. Thank you. Um, thank you, Susan. Yes, I know. I think I should put it in the sandbox, Kelly. Um, yeah, about, you know, making a pad with grid on it. You know, maybe it could be like black lines or something. I don't know. So the reason why I didn't use any old olive is because in here, in the ink, is because I was going to back it with that. We'll just use some liquid glue. I'm also using the Gilded Gems to give us a little accent today. Nice. Thank you, Diana. So pretty. Mm. I love fall colors. Really, really nice. 
and our leaves here in Tennessee are really changing. And I don't know with all that rain yesterday how many washed off. You know, sometimes when we get a lot of rain, we lose our color because the leaves wash off and then they're done. Now we're going to go ahead and place the um, old olive on the outside and then our DSP, which this DSP is very, very busy. Thank you for sharing, Lisa. Right here. And now oh, I have a hard time putting glue on that, right? But we want the busy side. So when you put this down, it is definitely busy stuff. So you need something to kind of calm it down and break it up. And that's why that then we're gonna use this little element and then our leaves don't have any stitching in it, just so that we can calm this front down just a little bit. Okay. This is a piece of very vanilla, and we're gonna do some stamping. Maybe if we all requested, it might make one, right? Yeah, I know, right? If we all requested something with a grid on it. I don't like putting the grid paper over top of it because then sometimes I stamp off of it. You know, I lose my place. I can't see what's underneath it. I don't know. That's just me. Okay, into the crush curry with the large leaf. These are distinctive stamps, so they're not, they're supposed to have like shading to them, and they do. Tell those grandbabies hello, Glenda. Cole and Chloe, hello. There's that one. We're going to use this one right here in the Cajun craze right here. And just kind of putting this all on one page so that we can run it through the big shot. It's not the big shot. It is the <laughs> cut and emboss machine. Oh, I do need some old olive, right? We gotta make leaves. Must make leaves. And we'll get two of these down in here. And there, and then it's so amazing um, to me, but like when I get product and I start using it and using it, I seriously forget what I have. Um, and so I used this nested little die right here. And um, uh, whoops, I seriously forgot I had these. And yesterday I was looking for something small to do the thank you in. And a lot of times, instead of going through my stash and what have you, I take the catalog. Let me show you what I do. I take the catalog and I come back here to where um, it shows everything. Let me get there. Okay to where it shows all the dyes that are in everything, okay? And then I look for something. And I, re I really, I myself use, you know, this catalog just to look for things that I need for what I'm making. I use it a whole lot. And so yesterday I was like, oh my goodness, I have these nested labels. This is perfect. So we'll cut one of these out also. Um, Okay, I'm going to close some of this up just so that I can move that cut and emboss machine in. And we're gonna cut all this out and make a pretty card. And we're gonna use this beautiful copper um, tone ribbon right here. I'm gonna use that too. So let's move that aside, bring everything over this way. Let me get my my new toy here. I got to play with it. Good morning, Diana. Um, I have to play with my new toy. So I've, I'm going to order new plates because I somehow or another turned them and got scratches on both sides, which is not good because sometimes when you put it through, the scratches can transfer themselves. So, um, 
I'm going to order new plates today, actually. Okay, let's see. Now, and, and I'm ordering the, I have it on my list at least. I don't know if I'll get it, we'll see. Um, the magnetic plate, we'll see how that works. So I'm just lining these up. And what I found out, see this little hole right here at the bottom? You have to see your stem so that your stem stays straight, okay? You have to see your stem. So I'm going to place some washi tape on these while I am, while I don't have the magnetic. And I'm just going to place these down just to hold it in place. But if you see your stem there in the center, you're good to go. This is not sticking. I just reuse and reuse my washi tape until it doesn't stick anymore. And yesterday I found a piece on the bottom of my shoe. So <laughs> it happens, right? <laughs> you drag your work throughout the house, right? Okay, now these leaves, let me say this. I've stamped them both going this way and um, see how the dies go two different ways. Thank you, Lisa. Um, so I'm going to use just this one. Get another piece of tape here. And there we go. Okay. Sit down there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now let's get our plate number three. And we have everybody together in this nice little sandwich. And away we go. Let me get it nice and straight so we don't have any problems going through this cut and emboss machine. And now I could have put the inside in these to cut the stitching out also. You know, to cut the whole leaf out with the stitching. I could have done that. But seriously, I did not want to because um, of the background. Now, see how that stem is in there? Just nice. I am so happy to talk to you guys today. I, I Yesterday, I felt so alone. Oh, my goodness. that I was like, oh, no, I can't see anybody. And, yeah, that was just, I don't know. I think, it, honest to goodness, I checked all my settings. I thought everything was fine. Um, I think, seriously, I think it was a YouTube thing. I don't know. But when I got back on there and checked everything, I was like, oh, I'm okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we're going to do this right here. And I'm going to cut my little piece out here that I need for my thank you. We got through it and made a pretty card, but I missed you guys. I look forward to that. <laughs> Like, you have no idea how much I look forward to it. Um, you know, our, uh, it's still, I, you know, I don't know what to say. I just know that um, I feel safer right now if I stay home. So, that's what I do. You know, it's like everybody has to do what they feel is the best and um, for their health. And so, I just feel that it's best that I stay home. So, which is good. Okay, now, we're going to, so I getting to that, like you guys are my interaction, other than my kids, with the world. This little piece right here is three and three quarter by three fourths. Now I'm gonna take this interesting die right here, and I'm just going to turn it upside down and place it right in here, where I seriously, I don't want to see it. I don't wanna see it through these little pieces, okay? So we'll go down this way, right there. Okay, good. Now, if I had the magnetic thing, it would it would hold it a lot better. Or you can even washi tape it on the other side. But this is just going to emboss. Makes a really cool element. <clears throat> there we go, wow. That is too cool. Yes, we need happy crafting, for sure. Isn't that, that is just a neat element. I really, really like that. So I wanna use this like a lot. I've seen a lot of things done 
um, on Pinterest and YouTube. Because, you know, like if I, I need inspiration. I always need inspiration. And I go through and I just look at things and I'm like, oh, I like that and I like this. And I, I start with one idea and then I develop on my own. And then here we are. So that's how that works. I know, right? This is kind of cool, Lynn. This is really cool. And, you know, you could cut the whole thing out and then cut pieces if you wanted to. I just wanted my piece already cut for us on camera. Now, I'm going to put this down here on the lower third of the card. And it fits perfectly. And see how it breaks up that busyness? It'll break it up a little bit. Now, we're going to use our, um, our, our little leaves that we cut. We're going to come in with these guys and make, let's see how, let's see, we'll do that. We'll put this up here. That'll go down there. Okay, that's nice. All right. Now, let's go ahead and stamp our little thank you here. I think I'll be okay without my mat. And I want to use um, Early Espresso. Right here. Good. Okay, good. Now with this, um, <clears throat> that's serious. Well, okay. No, it's a little high, but we're okay. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. What I want to do now is put my, um, this beautiful ribbon that is kind of copper looking. Hi, Renee. Thank you for watching. And we're going to use some glue dots with this. Probably many glue dots. Actually, yes, for sure, many glue dots. Um, so I'm going to place a glue dot here. And I'm going to put this ribbon in it right here. And then I'm just gonna loop it up and loop it back. I kinda want that to stick into that glue dot. You can make it as long or short as you want, and I'll show you how we're gonna make the second one that goes like inside of this. And then this can loop down here. Okay, I wanna come across on an angle. And let me get some snips. And I'm just gonna cut this right here. Now I'm gonna place another glue dot right here. And I'm gonna bring this up and connect it, okay? Just like that. It's not too high with bling. Yeah. Hi, Pat. Um, okay, so there's this. I need to make two other little loops right here, okay? But I didn't want to add all of this ribbon underneath here and loop it. The first time you have to because you have huge loops here. Okay, so I wanted to make smaller ones. So I just took this yesterday and I cut two pieces. It doesn't really matter, just, I don't even know how long they are. Just, let's see, how long are they? But we're looking at about three inches. Now I took my glue dots and I connected these. Okay, just like that. Just kind of make you a loop. Whoops, let me get in camera. Make a loop. So let's do another one. Just at the bottom, make your loop. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm gonna set these to the side. Okay, now we're gonna make our little um, array of flowers or um, leaves here. And again, we're gonna use some glue dots. I want this uh, crushed curry one to be the center of my focus and toward the front. So, put my glue dots on my crushed or um Cajun craze right here and then I'm going to just kind of cross these and let them attach to each other okay at the bottom right here actually I think I want this up just a little bit on that stem I think I'm a little low there because I'm going to cut some off I know I'm going to cut some off let's try not to ruin the project by moving a glue dot okay here we go. Good. And now this mess under here is not, I promise, is not gonna matter. 
Now we're going to put some greenery. And I'm just using glue dots. If they'd quit sticking to my fingers, that's hilarious. I'm just going to use some glue dots and place them and just make my little array of leaves. Just like that. Now, that is an absolute mess. But once you put this here, it's perfect. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So this I'm going to attach with, now I'm, this I'm gonna do with two glue dots because I really want it to stick. Let me pick this up. Okay. So here we have this mess of leaves. And then once you put this right here, it just takes the mess and makes pretty, right? Now, we don't like this down here. So you're just gonna take some snips and give them a haircut. Hi, Joan. Right here, just so that you don't see them. And isn't that cute? Now, this is gonna go right here. Look at how sweet that looks. You can manipulate these around now, even if you need to move them with the glue dots. Let's see, I want my leaf coming down there. I like that, just like that, okay? Now, this now will receive from Maryland. All right. I bet your leaves are changing. So here I'm gonna put dimensionals around. And I'm gonna kinda, I put one here just to hold those together. Sometimes, if it feels too thick to you, you don't have to do that. And just out here. I think we're okay though. I think I'm looking at my, my height there. I think I'm okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these off. Okay, got them all. Now, I'm going to take my little array of leaves here and place it over top of my loops and it's going to make it beautiful. Just like that. This one's on the loop, okay. Just like that. Now, those loops are cute, but they need a little something. That's why we made these. Let's go ahead with another glue dot and place this on the back side because I want it to stick onto the base of the paper. And I'm just going to tuck it in here where you're not gonna see it. I'll lift that up just a hair. I'm just tucking it in there and pushing that down. And that gives me like a little bit of a double loop right there. And this one actually could go in a little bit more and be a little shorter, but I think I'm gonna be okay with it just kind of overlapping like that. Hi, Marilyn. Now let's go ahead and place the other one on the top. And I can get myself unstuck from my projects. Put this under this leaf right here. And that's how I double loop things yesterday. But I didn't add a whole lot of bulk underneath the project. So it just adds, I'm gonna um, put those to the side. Oh, those look cute. Just like that. Nice, okay. Now we're gonna use some Gilded Gems because it just needs a little something. <clears throat> a little gold with our browns and greens. Looks so pretty. Here's this. And then one right here on our green. Oh, I love it. I just love that. That came out too cute. <clears throat> Speaking of too cute, oh my goodness. In the afternoon, one of the... I don't watch soap operas, um, so in the afternoon, um, they have too cute on. Oh my goodness, they had these cute little fluffball puppies on the other day, and then they had um, those little, uh, they were really fluffy kitties with the little flat faces. Oh my gosh, I mean, I just could not help but watch, I watch this show every day because it is just too stinking cute. Let's see, we need an envelope, don't we? Let me get one. I thought I brought one out. 
But every time I say the word too cute, I think about that show. Because they are too cute. <laughs> so, let's do Cajun Craze and... Crushed Curry. And we'll just put our little leaves down here. And we will have it for today. Oh, thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's go Cajun Craze first. How did I do the back on this one? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. And here. Now let me clean this. And now into the crushed curry. Fun. And I think I want this one. I want it over here. I want it here. There. Okay. <laughs> All right. A fast card. Not a difficult card to put together. And like I said, today I did not use the stitching in the, um, in the die cuts, okay? Because my paper was very busy and I needed my leaves just to kind of calm things down a little bit in there. So here's the card that I made last night. I, I put the loops inside last night, but today the way the... Um, I, you ha I love this set, and I was really late getting it because to me now, the um, catalog seriously does not do it justice. It just does not. You know, here's the stitching. for These, are, these go inside, and then they make everything stitched, okay? Um, but like I said today, because things were busy, I didn't use the stitching, and I just wanted to show you guys that you could just stamp and have a beautiful time with this. It's just, they both came out great. Um, th like I said, this one, I fit this inside to make it look like I was making a smaller loop. But now this today, they were a little bit larger and I really kind of like them outside of each other like that. So that's just a lot of fun. And then here's the inside of our card. I'm so glad you're in my life. I am so glad you guys are in my life. I really do appreciate it. So I hope if you have this set, you will attempt to um, make maybe this card or um, something close to it, play with it, get in your craft room, have a good time. It was so good to be on here with you guys today and conversing with you all. I missed you so bad yesterday. So, um, but I think everything's okay today. Never know what's gonna go on tomorrow, right? <laughs> so it is social media and then you go live and you're just at their mercy, you know? So it's, so it's it happens and I appreciate you all being so kind about everything. Um, <clears throat> So here we go. Just a fun, fun fall card. Thanks again for watching. Please do some happy crafting and stay safe.